Right, so let's get started. In this video tutorial, we're going to take you through the steps necessary to select your photos and export them to an external drive, to somewhere on your desktop, uh, or to a memory card. So hitting spacebar, I get back to my thumbnail view, and I'm now able to go through the photographs that I wish to select and export. By holding down the shift button, clicking on the first but, uh, image, and using my shift key, and then clicking on a range, I'm able to select that and export it. If I wish to export individual photographs, I can make a selection by clicking on a photograph number one, and then holding down my control key, and clicking on the various other photographs that I wish to export. Now that I've done my selection, I move up and I click on the export photos icon. This brings me up a dialog and the first thing that I need to do is I need to define the export path as to where these photos need to be exported to. Clicking on the little icon here, the folder icon, I'm able to select a drive. I'm now going to use an option of uh, exported photos. There we go. Click on OK. And now the next thing is to consider resizing. If I don't choose to resize, the photographs will go out in their full resolution. If I do, in this instance, I'm going to click on Resize Photos, and I'm going to choose Large as the option. I'm now able to choose Rename the Photos. And often when you import your photos into uh, Snapper Photo Manager, it comes with a default naming convention, which might not mean much to the end user. So I like to change it, and I'm going to use the uh, unique name one of n. And now I need to put in a unique name. I'm going to use Earth Photos. And as you can see, as displayed at the bottom here, it's going to be Earth Photos 1 of 10. So there are 10 photographs possibly selected. Uh, I can include my copyright information or choose to exclude. As a photographer, I like to include my copyright information. So at least uh, the people receiving these files know where it comes from and who was the original artist. There is an option to include your watermark. And if I tick this, it will include a watermark over the photograph. This is a further method of protection, uh, allowing people to understand that this photo is not for public use or for posting on uh, the internet in any way or form. Um, but in this instance, I'm going to choose to exclude the watermark, and I'm ready to export. I click on Export Photos, and immediately those photographs are exported. To get to the photos that I've just exported, I go to my File Explorer, click on the option, and I find my local drive F. There's the exported photos. Double click, and there I can see the photographs that have just been exported with the naming convention that I chose. 